Hey guys, Ivan here, and in today's video we got Toronto Pro 2024, and I'll go on a limb right away, and I'll just say, I think Martin Fitzwater got this win, but bear with me, let's see the comparison first, you're gonna tell me what you think, but I think Martin did enough, I'm honestly impressed with his physique, quite a lot, I think he improved from Texas Pro 2022 when he almost, well not really, but he was close to beating Andrew Jack, and here he came in very much conditioned, really full, really round, with a really good midsection, his back, which is his strongest body part, was just insane, super round, super bubbly, super thick, glutes shredded hamstrings separated shredded like he was seriously conditioned look at the lower lats like he was really dry and also really freaking round and full at the same time on top of it all his midsection was amazing look at the feathers in the quads as well really good right and then look at the midsection very very flat midsection small waist and a good vacuum on everything and i'm sure a lot of you are thinking the same thing why wasn't he invited to the Arnold Classic? They chose some lesser bodybuilders. Martin, with this edition, would blow away so many of those guys. Justin Rodriguez, who was at the Arnold Classic, is at this show, and he's not even noticeable next to Martin. However, the other guy that might win this show is Good Wito, who also brought it. And I gotta say, it's extremely close. It's extremely close. Good Wito, I think, came in fuller then Arnold Brazil, with pretty much the same conditioning, so he is definitely improved, this is the best version of Guduito ever, and he looks really impressive, why I don't think he's gonna beat Martin is this pose right here, even though he's very much detailed and shredded in the back poses, you'll see a comparison, Martin is just way thicker, but Guduito also really shredded through the lower back, glutes and hamstrings, everything is just really well conditioned, very detailed, full, full of the Naro Classic uh, Brazil, so really, really impressive version of Good Vito, who's gonna win this show, again, in my eyes, I think it's Martin Fitzwater, but now if I show you a comparison, and we start with this pose, and I say Martin is winning this show, you might be thinking, even lost his mind, but bear with me, you're gonna see the other poses, this pose is a really, really good pose for Good Vito, he is very dominant, very hard to beat in this one, and yeah, it's a very important pose, but I gotta say, Martin is holding his own, no, he's not as detailed as Good Vito in the quads, nor in the arms, also Good Vito is bigger at both of those areas, so in this pose, Good Vito wins hands down. Now, this one, back double bicep, a much different story, lower body, not that much different, they're both pretty massive and very conditioned, but as far as the back itself, Martin's got that crazy thickness, fullness, his back is just way more dense, good Vito, yeah, conditioned, but standing next to Martin, whose back is just outstanding, good Vito's back looks really small, flat, undeveloped, so Martin is kind of killing him in this pose. In the side chest, on the first glimpse, you might think it's really close, but if you pay close attention to, for example, hamstrings, you will see that Martin's hamstrings are hanging way lower, his hamstrings are just really good, so leg department, I give it to Martin, and as far as upper body, you know, it's pretty close, but I like more the way Martin is hitting it, you know, he's opening up nicely, his chest looks round and full and, and, and wide, and good Vito is kind of crunching a little bit, kind of flexing his chest too much, I mean, he has like maybe more details, you know, in the chest and the shoulders and the arms, but I just like the shape of Martin's upper body, but because of the legs mainly, I give this pose to Martin. Side tricep, hell man, be my guest, you tell me who is winning this one. I gotta say again, these guys are extremely, extremely close, and also they are like very similar, they're the same height basically, they also kind of have similar structure, they're both equally as conditioned and as full, so it all goes down to basically the development of all body parts, overall completeness of literal just muscular development, that's all we're looking here, because both of them are really conditioned equally, as detailed, as conditioned in every single area, so it's all about like, who's got bigger what, and in the side tricep, it's really freaking hard to make my mind, I mean, yeah, Martin has really big and hanging uh, hamstrings, but 
Goodwito is opening up more and has more details maybe in the chest and, and the arms and the shoulders. Uh, his triceps, for example, are detailed, but they're not as full as Martin's. But overall, this pose, I think it's just very much equal. These guys are very close, so I'll give this one a tie. Back lat spread, I gotta say Goodwito potentially looks even better in the hamstrings. He maybe has more dugged out hamstrings and more detailed. Maybe not as big as Martin's, but you can't really see that in this pose. You can see it from the side, but in the back poses, he just has more details in that area. And as far as the glutes, Martin is showing more of his glutes, but Goodwito is also showing more of his glutes than he was showing at the Arnold Classic Brazil. So I guess doing that, hiding his glutes at the Arnold Brazil was probably a mistake. And he realized that And here as he got even more conditioned, more detailed, and I think it's just a matter of fullness. But since he probably realized that his glutes are dug out, he showed them more and it looks very good. But because of the upper body, I mean just the lower lats, the lat thickness, and just everything about the back, it's Martins. So even though it's close in the, in the lower body, yeah, upper body, it's all Martin because of that crazy back. Absent eyes, we got a little bit of a different angle. Uh, it's also really, really close. Please, guys, be my guest. Tell me what do you think, but... How can I make my mind based on this? Very, very extremely close. Yeah, good, Vito probably has better quads, but then Martin's waist and abs is looking very good. The way his lats are popping, the way this pose is flowing. Also, Martin has some pretty good legs. Yeah, because of the quads, I guess I'd give it to good Vito, but by a very close margin. Most muscular, again, this is starting to become funny because it's really impossible to tell who's better, I mean, they are really, really similar, I don't remember two bodybuilders being this similar, this close, in the front and the side shots, especially the front ones, so I think Martin is winning this one because of his back, the back is gonna be a determining factor, and that's about it, it's very extremely close in the front and the side shots, but Martin's got a really, really good back. And you guys saw what Derek Lansford did at the Mr. Olympia with his back. It is not a coincidence that people are saying the shows are won from the back. Because people have seen that so, so many times by now. It happens all the time. Especially when it is kind of close, the guy with the better back wins. Because back, that's like a luxury muscle, luxury body part. Not everybody has it. So many great bodybuilders did not or do not have a good back. I'd say most of them have a weak or average back. And it's really a rare few who actually have an impressive back. And when the judges see that, I'm sure they're going to go crazy for Martin. And that's why, again, I think Martin has got this. I think he's winning this. And yeah, I know you might say Justin Rodriguez's back is probably as big or even bigger than Martin's. So why isn't he winning this show? It's very simple, it's because of his front. In the front shots, he looks horrible, he looks terrible. His legs are just flat now, they're down in size, and his midsection is tripled in size over the past, I don't know, five years or so. Like His midsection is just huge, way out of proportions, there is no way of fixing that. I think he's just losing muscle everywhere right now and only gaining in his uh, waist, in his midsection, so... You can see his arms and his lats and even his chest and legs, everything looks smaller. It's only his waist that looks bigger. Or maybe because of the size of his waist, everything else looks smaller. I don't think that's the case. I think he's melting slowly and at the same time growing out that bubble gut. So I think it is time and it's been for a couple of years for Justin Rodriguez to retire and end his career with some pride or he's gonna end up like new Dave Palombo. People are gonna start calling what's happening to him Rodriguezism or something like that, just like it was Palomboism. Once again, it is between Martin and Goodwito. They are in the top two. Maybe you guys will prefer Goodwito for some reason. If you do, tell me down below. But if you agree with me, you think Martin's got this, also tell me in the comment section. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And for more content like this, subscribe to my channel, guys. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon. All the best and bye-bye.